So this is going to be my apartment tour for my apartment here in Korea. I will explain in detail later why I got here so late, but I got here at 7 p.m. on the 6th of February. And this is my door space. I'm wearing my little slippers. I'm also wearing pajamas because I'm stuck here for the next two weeks. I've got my I only <laughs> I was only able to bring two pairs of shoes. The boots I wore onto the plane and the shoes I was able to shove into one of my suitcases. Um, that's all I was able to bring with me for now. So I want to get my parents to ship me over some of my other shoes and I have to buy some here. Um, and yeah, so this is my kind of cupboard space in here. Usually in other videos I've watched on YouTube, these are usually like where you'll hang your coats and stuff. But there's a fire extinguisher in this one. They have coat hooks. But the fire extinguisher is kind of in the way. It's also screwed down, so I can't move it. And a lot of shelves. Like, a lot of weird shelves. There is nowhere for me to hang a coat. Very strange. I put my toilet paper down here because my bathroom is just behind me, so it made more sense. I also put my kind of going out things in here. So my umbrella, my gloves, and my hat. There's also a menu for... a place around here i don't know where it is <laughs> i also haven't taken the time to actually sit down and read it yet so i don't know what they offer so i want to show you very quickly there's a mirror but i don't want to be caught in the mirror because i look absolutely atrocious but there we go a nice big long mirror so i can check myself before i leave the house so here on the right hand side then is my little bathroom. I have things just kind of everywhere at the moment, but yeah, those are my towels that I brought myself. Oh, I forgot there was a mirror here. Realize it's inevitable, you're gonna see me because of the mirror situation, but fine, whatever. So I've got a normal toilet, which is obvious, I knew that was gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna try and avoid myself in the mirrors pop as best as I can. A nice little sink, that bar of soap was left here for me as well as the grey toothbrush. I brought the kind of pink one, but I realized it's a very hard brush and I need a softer brush, so I'm gonna start using the grey one that was left. This is my shower, okay? And this is amazing because, look at that waterfall shower head. I am so delighted. I haven't used it yet. I just used the small one because I just needed to get myself in. I needed to get myself clean. I was so sweaty when I eventually got here. It was disgusting. Um, I brought travel sized stuff to use while I'm settling in. That's another little mirror that my mother insisted that I get back home in Ireland and bring with me and I'm so glad she did because as you can see, there are no mirrors in the shower for some strange reason. So I was using that to wash my hair and my face and then I've got two scrunchies. Now I'm <laughs> trying to avoid the mirrors, but the mirrors are actually uh, storage. So when I pull back the mirror space, I've got like all my toothpaste. These are the two I brought with me, as well as a small one, whereas that middle one and all those toothbrushes were left here for me, I'm assuming by my boss. Um, those are all the rest of my towels that I brought with me. That's, I'm keeping all my like beauty care, as well as for some reason exfoliating gloves down here. Then I have kind of other necessities that people kind of forget about. On the other side, then I have all my shower gels and stuff. I've got like feminine products, what have you. I've got my deodorants. I brought a combination. I have spray deodorants, which I prefer, but I also have um, two of those kind of rolling sticks because I found them the day before I was going to leave. And I was so upset that I didn't find more of them. Um, I've got perfume. I've got, so again, that blue bottle of shampoo was left for me. Um, I don't know. It smells pretty nice from what I sniffed in the bottle, so might end up using it. And I've got like a bunch of period things up there. Apparently they're super expensive here, so I brought some with me. So that was the bathroom space. This is my very untidy, because I just ate, um, kitchen area. So this is all my kitchen. <laughs> this is it. I've got my washing machine and I have instructions on how to use it. I have a small frying pan as well as a kettle and a small pot. I've got a plate, I've got a fork, a spoon, a rice spoon, not a teaspoon, so I'm using the rice spoon as a teaspoon. But I have a fork, a teaspoon, a knife, and I have some silver chopsticks which are up there in the cup. They also left me a frozen cup, which was kind of funny. I'm also using toilet paper as kitchen towel because I don't have any. 
uh, there's just more stuff in the sink. Um, yeah, you've got to keep your food waste separate to your like recycling. So I saw on these bags, I translated them and they said that they're going to be incinerated. So anything that's burnable. So I've got to put like papers and stuff into the big one. And then that small bag there is for food waste. You have to keep them both separate. The box of washing powder was left here for me and a small little travel tube of, it's called travel wash. I picked that up because I wasn't sure if I was going to be staying in my apartment when I first came here. So I thought I could bring that with me and use it to wash my stuff if I was quarantining in an Airbnb. But there's no use for that now. Um, they also left me this really cool little like scissor rack thing. There's a scissors, really big scissors, really good scissors. As well as a large chopping knife that I greatly appreciate. So that's good. Um, up here then is cupboard space for me to put away things. So there's the pot I mentioned. There's nothing else up there just yet, but there will be eventually. Um, this is my fridge. It is integrated, which is lovely. And again, my boss left me some food, so she found me some milk. Some re that's really nice cheese. If you like cheese, you will like that cheese. It is so good. The I'm not entirely sure what these. I'm assuming they're just like hard sweets or candies, but I haven't tried them yet. I'm kind of afraid to. Um, she left me six bottles of water, so the other four down there, and she put two in the fridge for me. She gave me a tray of, or a box of oranges, which is awkward because I don't like oranges that much. I've tried one, and it seems, they seem nice. I, I'm just not into oranges. She also got me sandwich ham, um, eggs, and weird wholemeal bread, which I'll probably take a picture of later on because it's got green things in it. It's, it's weird. Uh, on the bottom part then is my freezer, which is pretty spacious. I don't have anything in there just yet. I'm not allowed out of the house, quarantine and all that. So on the opposite side, we have more space. So that's the microwave. I've also been given instructions on how to use this. You can see my reflection. Hi. Um, up here then is a space, which is where I... That's a cutlery drawer they left here. I put that up high. And these are the foods I brought from home. So I have some coke noodles. I have two packets of rice cakes, some jaffa cakes, and some peanut butter because peanut butter apparently is very rare here. And I thought if I could find some uh, bread, I could make myself peanut butter sandwiches. Yay. This is like a little drawer space um, for the moment I'm putting in. So again, my boss left me coffee. I brought my own unsweetened decaf coffees, which are amazing because they don't set my heart off. So that's nice. I also brought decaf tea bags. There are some normal tea bags in this box. My Adventure Time coasters, which I'll put out when I have a table. I brought my apron. I also have my apron. I also have bamboo sticks. There's the other bag. And I've got more tea towels, so. So down here, we have food that my boss left for me. These two are seafood flavored noodles. And spoiler alert, I don't like them. <laughs> At least I don't like the bottom ones. I tried those yesterday and they were disgusting. I was shocked with how horrible they were because I told myself before I came here, I need to be more open-minded. And I tried a couple of other things. On the plane, I had pasta with pesto and tomato sauce or something. And the tomato part was horrible. I just ate the, past the pesto part and that was fine. But no, this just not good. This is a breakfast cereal on the box, at uh, the box. I English so goodly. On the bag, they make it seem like they're just like black, weird bean things all over it. But when I opened up the bag and had a look, they're not all over the place. And they're also pretty nice. I ate one of the black bean things by themselves. I don't know how to describe it. It was almost like an empty peanut taste, which makes no sense, but yeah. And then these babies are, there's a curry with beef and then there's also black bean sauce with beef. And basically what you do is you get like these little, the little almost like food bags, like dog food bags that you get back home, pouches. 
and you warm it up. You can either warm it up in the microwave or in a saucepan or a pot. And then you pour it over rice, which I don't have yet. <laughs> so that's, that's nice. I have to wait until I have rice before I can have them. This here confuses me. I'm pretty sure this is the kimchi fridge, but I cannot be sure. Um, yeah, it slides open and there's space inside there. Please correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong because I have no idea what this is supposed to be. There's a tray down here. There's like a switch of some kind here. I don't want to press anything in case. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure what that is. But it's there, so that's handy. Uh, this tray that the food is resting on also moves out. And there's another drawer, well, come on, drawer underneath. So, plenty of space in my kitchen area. So right beside my kitchen area then is this kind of office space. Hello. And I have, this is really cool. So let me just move this up out of the way. I have my space, I have a little office space, but if I needed more space for whatever reason, I can roll out my spare table. How cute is that? I actually used it as a seat because as you can see, I have no furniture yet, so I have nowhere to sit. So I have, I don't know what this is. I think it's meant to be an IP address for something. April is the branch of school I'm going to be working for, so I'm assuming it's theirs. But I don't know if I'm meant to connect it to my laptop or if I'm meant to connect it to it. I'll have to ask them. Um, I have my BMO coaster out because I had to use him earlier. And then I have a bunch of these shelves. So this one here, I've got like medical stuff. And I just threw up the sweets that I had left over from the plane in here. In this side, then I have like my makeup. Okay. Up here, then I have a combination of like, I suppose my hobbies and more hobbies. <laughs> I've got like my earphones, headphones. I've got my, the stand that I use to hold my camera or my phone when I'm talking. I've got my chargers, I've got my DS's. I've got my drawing satchel, so like my pencils and stuff. I've got a watercoloring set and a sketchbook, as well as the, so these guys, these guys, as far as I'm aware, this guy I think controls the temperature in the room. So if I find it kind of cold, I put the temperature up. And if I don't, I can put it down again. And this guy will control, I believe, the air conditioning. So in the summertime when it's really warm, I'll need this one. So they've gone up there as well. So then blocking off my hobbies, I have the Sugar Skulls mug my parents gave to me for my birthday before I came here. I haven't taken them out of the bubble wrap I wrapped them up in just yet, as you can see. Um, I also still have these wet towels from the plane because I was using hand sanitizer and I didn't really want to use these. They're cute, I might use them here. I've also got my kind of COVID stuff. So I have um, antibacterial wipes and I have masks. Um, and then up here I have all my travel stuff. I've got my other pair of compression socks. I've got the weighing scale thingy. I've got the other adapter that is useless to me because it's long. <laughs> my luggage straps, which fell off my luggage and disappointed me. And then in this side that I have souvenirs. <laughs> And those souvenirs are just a couple of fridge magnets from Amsterdam because I promised everybody in my family postcards, but they don't do postcards anymore, so I had to find something else and improvise. Did not get a magnet for everybody though, I just got three. Three? Yeah. Also, I look half dead. That's great, that's a good look on me. Anyway, yeah. This is like my main room. I have really big windows, as you can see, with really big blinds, really nice space. The camera makes it look a little bit bigger than it is in person, but there is definitely room for, and what I'm, gonna, what I'm planning on doing is maybe putting it like a, a small two-seater couch or a love seat right there, and then having like my TV and stuff here. That's the connection for the television, and that's my broadband on the floor. So if I kind of put the seat and my television and like coffee table there, it still gives me space to use this area. So this is another one of those hidden cupboards. 
where I've put my jackets because like I said in the front hallway you usually have that front hallway space to hang them up but I didn't I've also got a scarf and I've also got bags so that's nice what's that oh it's this is my really long hot water bottle my grandmother got it for me for Christmas and I just thought it was amazing because it's body length and I get cold super easily and I thought it would be colder when I arrived so I brought that with me as well this is particularly um, impressive. So you pull this baby out because you don't really have um, dryers here in Korea. They're not that common. So instead, you've got to pull out your drying rack, which you can then just fold back up and put away carefully because I did this yesterday to test it and it just all fell in and made a huge loud noise so i can't remember what i put in here this is another space open oh my travel bags okay so this is the travel bag that my aunt gave to me for christmas it's mickey Minnie mouse and i put my little voodoo doll to wish me good luck in my travels on it um and then i also have my smaller of my three suitcases in here as well because it's the only place it would fit and uh, the other two i left Upstairs. Yes, upstairs. I have stairs. This is my happy place right now because I have photos of my family members as well as my teddies decorating my stairs so that I feel a little less alone. Up here I've put all of my camera supplies. I have a list of things I need to get. Uh, then I have the card, all my family members signed this big card to wish me good luck before I left which was so sweet and they were all keeping it a secret from me it was the sweetest thing ever and then my parents gave me this little card separately with some of the photos so that I'd have something to hang up here these are all skulls that sounds really weird out of context they're all ceramic skulls don't worry I haven't stolen anything from any graves not that you can prove but um I decided a little while ago, I'm going to unpack them and put them all on my windows. So that'll be cool. And this Volkswagen tin is also... Hold on now. A jigsaw puzzle. Which my parents got for me for my birthday as well. So that was nice. And then down here, I'm not really sure how to go about doing this yet. but So I got the Harry Potter calendar for my parents for Christmas. I got these BTS... Um, what are they called? Posters for my friend. Not last year, but the year before last for Christmas. I also have a dream catcher that you assemble for yourself. And that's going to go where my bed is. Right up there. I'll show you in a minute. And I also have stairs that you can stick to the ceiling. Which I hope I can do here. I, I don't want them to, you know, complain or say that I destroyed the ceiling. Because hopefully I haven't. So I'm going to try those. In a while, maybe. These are more... Okay, the small one isn't. But these are more cupboard spaces. So I've put all my books and stuff into this one. The way I've arranged it is these are like teaching or learning books. So I've got my Korean grammar book. That's not grammar. That's a lie. This is my Korean um, vocabulary book. It's Talk to Me in Korean, level one. Because I'm a beginner. I have two little copy books that I've got to be using for learning. And then I've also got an English book, My Grammar and I. Or should that be me? So I've got that to kind of refresh my, myself while I'm teaching. I also have this book that my friend from Australia gave to me in 2017 when we were in England together. And I thought this would be a really cute thing, you know, especially over quarantine if I'm bored. They have like a bunch of different tasks in here. You can like color things and circle things and read things. So that would be interesting. Then I have like just kind of, oh, it's very dark in here. But I have just kind of general books in the back that I wanted to read. I have The Book of Disquiet, which was recommended to me by a friend. Here we go. As well as the rest of my photos are on top in those envelopes. I have Edgar Allan Poe collection. I have Sylvia Plath. I have a couple of books there. And then I have like my diary. I have my BTS album. I have my D&D book. I have my uh, story ideas book and I also have the notebook my supervisor gave me for finishing my thesis in 2019. So, yes, lovely. 
like I mentioned, there's more space in here. So if ever I buy anything else, I can throw things in there. These are drawers. Again, more space. And uh, there's another drawer here. And I think this is another little space. Oh, it is. The door opens weirdly. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of storage space here. We haven't even gone upstairs yet. Ooh, the lights are on. Gotta be honest, my view could be better. Um, it's facing toward just other buildings, which is kind of boring, but yeah. So, we have stairs. I have a railing. I'm really happy for the railing because I would fall down these stairs. And up here is my bedroom space. It's kind of messy for the moment because I'm trying to figure out. So what they've done is they've given me what I think is a single bed or like a twin bed as they say in America, but they've given me a double sized quilt or a duvet, which is comfortable, but it means that all my duvet covers are now too small for it. So I need to figure that out. These are my other two cases. I forgot that there was a mirror there. These are my other two cases then. They are both full of clothing and they're gonna be going in either this wardrobe or that wardrobe. So I'm gonna pause for a second to walk past the mirror. So these wardrobes then are pretty spacious. And by pretty, I mean really fucking spacious. They've got a space on top and then they have space down here at the bottom with a rail and then they also have shelves in the back. So I have plenty of space and the other one is the exact same. Plenty of space for me to put all my shit everywhere and to have so the plan is for now Just kind of put all my small things like socks and stuff up here and I only have three clothes hangers left after hanging up my coats So I don't know what else I have like a suit a two-piece thing that I will have to hang up So that'll get priority, but then after that, I don't know what I'm gonna do I have made a list of things I need to get for my apartment just so that, you know, I can kind of pad the place out a little bit. But yeah, this is my apartment here. So I'm delighted with it. It's so nice. And I'm very happy to be living here for the next year or so. So yeah. <laughs>